the joint declaration on EU legislative priorities for 2023-2024 that we will sign matters. It matters because it is an act of unity between our institutions. It is not just a piece of paper. It is a firm commitment to work together to deliver for Europe. We have promised to jointly legislate and reform our energy markets to achieve our climate ambitions and to fix the holes in our migration and asylum rules. Let me also highlight two other points that were essential for the European Parliament. Firstly, to ensure the sustainability of the multi-annual financial framework in the face of the current headwinds. Secondly, to act upon the proposals made by our citizens during the conference on the future of Europe. This joint declaration is particularly important ahead of our 2024 European elections when citizens will hold us accountable for how the EU has responded to the current challenges. I thank uh, the Czech Presidency for the excellent work that has taken place over the past six months and looking forward to continuing with the Swedish and then Belgian Presidency to close so many of the files that we still have pending, but I am very optimistic that we will manage. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Roberta. I would like now to ask the President of European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, to take the floor. Thank you very much, Peter, dear Roberta. It's a great pleasure to sign this joint declaration. It shows our shared resolve to deliver on the commitments that we've made for this legislative term. The signing takes place in a very challenging environment. Russia has brought war back to the continent. Consequences are being felt in Europe and the world. And we will support Ukraine for as long as it takes. The joint declaration is a clear demonstration of our unity. Working together to find common EU solutions to tackle the consequences of this crisis for our citizens and our businesses is our shared interest. The joint declaration also charts a way to our joint vision for Europe. We want an ambitious green and digital transition, a European Union and a European economy that works for people, and a stronger Europe in the world. I'm very glad that we also signed the European Declaration on Digital Rights and Priorities and Principles. It reflects our shared goals of a digital transformation that puts people first. Our vision has been enriched by the Conference on the Future of Europe. Many citizens contributed important proposals. Now, our three institutions should make full use of the time until May 2024 to deliver all the laws that benefit our citizens and our businesses. And I'm glad that I can count on you. Thank you, Ursula. Now we can proceed with the signature. Thank you. May I invite your excellencies to stand for a photo, please? The signing ceremony has come to an end. Thank you very much for your presence. The presidents will now be accompanied to the European Council meetings. Zola, His Excellency Prime Minister of the Czech Republic, Presidency of the Council of the European Union, Mr. Petra Fiala, Her Excellency President of the European Commission, Ms. Ursula von der Leyen.
Thank you. And the fight against the high energy prices. I am glad the declaration we signed today. I would like to thank the member states, the Commission and the European Parliament for, for constructive approach during the negotiation, common ground and set clear priorities for the, for the challenging time. And in Spanish and Belgian presidencies would like to fulfill agreed priorities during the period to this goal. I now ask Roberta Menzola. It is an act of unity between our institutions. It is not just a piece of paper. It is a firm commitment to work to jointly legislate and reform our energy markets to achieve, to ensure the sustainability of the multi-annual financial framework since during the conference on the future of Europe. This joint declaration is particularly important. So from the lion, take the floor. Thank you very much, Peter, dear Roberta. It's a good for this legislative term. The signing takes place in an EU solutions to tackle the consequences of this crisis for our citizens and our businesses is our shared interest. Yeah. We want an ambitious green and digital transition. It reflects our shared goals of a digital transformation that puts people first due to important proposals. Now, our key institutions and our businesses, and I'm glad that I can come. That in between. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, how can you mention Belgium if you don't mention it's place? Yes. 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 Yes.